Oh wait, I forgot the pit thing. Oh, the throwing. Mm-hmm. Uh don't redeem anything, Adam. Not even like the Don't redeem things, okay, okay. please. Hi Victor. Hi Victor. Thank you for being first. <laughs> Victor asked, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling better, you know? Um, but, you know, obviously I could be better, right? I'm not, like, 100%. Hmm. Um, but... I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Hey, Joe. Been a hey, while. Joe. Hello. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in so long. Okay, hold on. I have to open up this website. Ay, ay, ay. I'm glad you're doing well, Joe. Um, but it hasn't arrived yet. Aaron, it wasn't it last time it was like wine and stuff like that and things you don't even use. Is um setting up some stuff. Before yeah, I, I'm. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All right, everything should be good now. Um. So, um. Oh wait. Oh, that was neat didn't show up on the mm. well it showed like you got hit but it didn't show the object oh. I mean oh oh you know why because I don't worry about it I forgot to okay it should be good now all right All right, well, as you guys know, I had COVID. Right now, I'm pos I'm 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 negative. <laughs> no more COVID. <laughs> um and um right now this is the new rigging um that I have. Um I still have to make a couple changes probably. Um Maybe to the mouth forms. But you know, honestly, I have like a small... Oh, and this is one of the new redeems, Whoa. guys. If you go and look, if you go and look um, at the redemptions, I added a couple new redeems. Unfortunately, I took away the chibi model because it defaults um, to my new model. And I don't want you guys to be spoiled. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I added a couple of redeems where you guys could put like ears on me. Um, and they're a lot cheaper than they were before. Um, as notably, uh, tofu time is a lot cheaper. Um, and it's because they will only run for 10 minutes. So, um, Medio here in chat helped me set up like a bunch of things. Yeah. <coughs> and That's basically, fun. um... They'll run on 10 minutes timer um, automatically. I don't have to do anything. Um, but let's say, um, you know, Medio um, just redeemed Cat Kea. Let's say um, Victor redeems Bunny Kea. Um, it will be, it'll go to the Bunny Kea at the end of Medio's redeem. So everyone gets their full redeems. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Kaya got tech savvy. No, no, not me. Not me. 
Um, also, guys, look. <gasps> Victor, thank you so much for gifting us sub to Meteo. What the heck? Oh, Victor. Meteo deserves it. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate it. Um, I can wink. Also, look. Yeah. See my, my cheeks? And then also... It's um, new physics, new tracking. It looks good. <laughs> you got money for your birthday? Well, don't spend it here, Victor. Save it and buy yourself something cute. Hi, Jokey. Hi, yeah, Jokey. I added some new uh, redeems. I, ho I hope you guys spend it here. Aaron, how could you be so pushy um, to poor Victor? Also, um, <laughs> I have this. Say meow. 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 You know how they say meow in Japan? Yeah. They go, Mia? Like Meteo does. Also, also, with the new physics, I can kiss. I'll show you guys. Kiss, kiss. Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, what the heck? Stop gifting things. Or else. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. I hate it here. What do you mean you hate it here? You can't hate it here. I wish I was able to get, like, ears that matched more with my model. Um, mm. But it's free. What, you, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> sorry sorry about my coughing um there's nothing i could do about it so you guys are gonna have to get used to it for for a little while i have um my candy cane my sweet tart candy cane i'm gonna eat one while we catch up do you have any, like, um, cough drops? Yeah, I have cough drops. I have cough drops. Take them Ricola drops. I actually really don't like the Ricola cough drop. I, I hate how they're, like, um... Like, herbally, if that makes sense. Don't, just don't cut your tongue. I won't, I won't do it, I won't do it. <laughs> That's what sucking looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Meteo asked if you're feeling better. Mm-hmm. Meteo gets sad when we ignore him. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, <laughs> I still have a cough, and I feel like my voice is not back to normal 100%.
but I'm doing a lot better compared to um, a couple days ago, even. That's good. Yeah, I've been you haven't had a time. candy cane all season, Joe. You gotta go and get yourself some candy cane. A couple of days ago, Kia sounded pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Look, you could see me nod. Guys! You have to get a candy cane! I had one a couple days ago. I feel like, um... It sounds like when it sounds like I'm so like into sweets. Like, um, I tell you guys to have peeps, have candy canes. But I'm not actually a big, big sweets person. It's because I'm sweet. <laughs> um,. You can't have candy canes. Why? Your story traumatized. Dick what do you mean? <laughs> boss, boss. Hi, sweet. I am Hi, boss. boss. Boss, welcome to stream. Welcome. Oh, did you guys take a look at um your... Um, your Wait, recaps, um, your recaps. Mm -hmm. Boss's road to 100k bit starts now. <laughs> you know, soon, soon, boss will overtake you, Aaron. He only watches four streamers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everyone only watches four streamers only. You know, I didn't like the way that they did the streamer one this year. I feel like in the past it showed, like, oh, what, um, user has gotten the most um channel points or like used the most channel points oh, yeah. um you know which user chatted the most which user used the most emotes like i was kind it's of fun. sad that yeah. it didn't show that this one wasn't as good mm-hmm It showed, like, the total chats and, like, the total, you know, it just gave totals. It didn't give, like, individual, like how you said. Mm hmm Oh, Kitty K is over. Hmm. <laughs> It could be your top used, like your whole entire top five with all the changes that we do for them, Aaron. <laughs> that would be really funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, because they're considered different oh, yeah. emo. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm really glad that you guys like my emote. And... I'm honored that I was on some of your guys's um, most watched streamers. Um, even if I wasn't, <laughs> it's okay. I understand because I really don't stream that often. So it was like a surprise to me that I was on some of your guys's top 
uh, streamers. You stream every week. Yeah, but a lot of people time. stream like a couple times a week. It's that consistency. Every week, I, I suppose. three hours, <laughs> three, four hours. Mm -hmm. That adds up. I suppose, but... <laughs> it's okay, media. Yeah, in the past, I, I feel like I didn't have that much hours watched as well. Um, I don't know. I feel like lately I've just haven't been into watching Twitch as much as I have in the past. I'll have on like streamers in the background, but then afterward, I will just like mute them or put their volume low and watch like a YouTube video. I, I feel like, um, for like 2020 and 2021 even, I spent a lot of time on Twitch and I feel like this year I kind of like rekindled my, my YouTube habits. A lot of Three the months. I used to watch, they haven't been streaming as much. I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are just streaming less. <gasps> Bunny! <laughs> Bunny. I that one's really cute. Yeah, isn't this one cute? <laughs> These, um, ears that I found, they're, like, live 2D, so they also move. <laughs> wow. Ramen was in your top four. Wow. It's been a while since... These streams. Free Nitro. You guys have a... Uh, you guys still have a chance to win the... Win the, the gamble. Do I jiggle more, guys? I really only noticed the changes in the face. The head movement is different. Um, the legs move differently too, but you guys wouldn't really see that. <laughs> I don't know how y'all are so good at gambling. Just gamble all. Mm-mm. And do it, like, all the time. Eventually you'll win. Get lucky. <laughs> mm-hmm. It works sometimes. Seven is good at gambling. I just get lucky. That's all gambling is. It's yeah, it's all luck. Luck. No skill, all luck. With things like, you know, gambling at least <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> I mean, there's, like, games, like, poker that requires skill. Well, oh, that's why I said only on yeah. Twitch. 
IRL, it's different. Look, I can make like a, like a, ooh, face. Oh yeah, I see. That's like a disgusted face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ugh, I failed. And I lost the 50-50. I wish kids were allowed to gamble. Boss! <laughs> you gamble don't want to... Continue you don't want to have like a, a gambling habit. Mm hmm. You could go to an arcade boss. So eventually, um, when after I gave you my other model, which will be January 3rd, um, it will be regular streams time. So 7 o'clock EST. Be there or be square. I will be debuting my other model. And when that's the case, um, I will be adding a couple more uh, things that you guys could redeem. Like, um... <clears throat> Changing my outfit, taking my sleeves off my new outfit, um, things like that. That's exciting. I think there's a Twitter post. Yes, I, I did a post on Discord and on Twitter um, with details, but every day leading up, I'm gonna um, add some more teasers. On on Twitter. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so it will be seven EST. I was gonna make it earlier in the day, but um, I figured it. It's better timing for for those of you who like go back to school and stuff. Hmm. I think that's a Tuesday, right? Mm-hmm. The first Tuesday of the new year. Yes. You know, I was, like, saying to Adam, guys, how now I could wink, right? But I don't even know if I want you guys to see me wink because my wink is not cute. It's just, like, I look like... <laughs> I look like I, I'm having problems, like... <laughs> uh, it's forced. <laughs> I guess this one's not too bad. When you're playing a game... And your model's small. Maybe it's not less noticeable. <laughs> Am I okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks like I'm in pain, right? <laughs> it's like you got something in your eye. <laughs> hmm candy oh you're still eating candy cane mm -hmm. I guess while we wait I could show you guys my leg The new graphics or physics, I mean. <laughs> Look, I'm crossing my legs. Ooh, I have to pee. Ooh, I have to pee. I forget how the old model, like the old physics, worked for your legs. It it didn't really move like that. It's oh. scandalous. <laughs> Oh. 
Big show is short. My child can't watch this. Imagine, like, just coming to my stream for the first time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> someone, yeah, someone joins and they're just like, what's going on? It looks like I have to pee you when I do. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's um, the potty dance. The potty dance. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> And a new model is going to have physics like that. It's going to look like that. I'm surprised the bunny's still up. Hasn't been time yet. Oh, I have to edit that. They're on different hair. Yeah, they're on hairs. different layers. It's, it's okay. These bunny ears match pretty well, I think. Yeah, I think oh, so. There they go. Much better than the, the cat ears. The cat ears. Are oh, still and then I added a pet bee, you guys. That one is only five hundred points. <laughs> oh, cute! Thank you for the pet. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you guys always clown me when I do cute things. <laughs> Stop! I could put this whole candy cane down my throat right now, if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> but I shouldn't. Who is the white hand? I think. It's, it's a ghost. But they're wearing a glove, like a Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. It's Mickey Mouse. But that's like a skin colored hand. Tofu! Tofu. Hi, GZ. Hey, GZ. I put it all in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost all your banana bucks. Oh no, boss. Poor boss. It's okay. We're, we still have a lot of time in the month. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> it's okay. <yeah. laughs> Susie said he lost two shiny Pokemon because he forgot to save the game. Oh no. Whoa. 
I've never caught a shiny Pokemon before. Maybe the next time you play Pokemon. Mm hmm. I feel like they're less rare in the game. At least I'm hearing about people getting shinies more often. Haha, <laughs> scammed. <laughs> You can get a shiny sandwich. Really, Vector? <laughs> shiny sandwich? That's funny. I wonder what that looks like. So sour. You're done with the candy cane? Yes. <laughs> sour, sweet, gone. <laughs> I love Sour Patch Kids. I should add them on my throne. Alrighty, guys. Let's play. Genshin time. Yeah, I haven't played Genshin in like a week. Not true. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, do you want to come over to do dailies and stuff? Yeah, we can do dailies. And then weekly. Mm hmm. Is there a new request from the academia? I just don't have any friends that play the new games right now. Yeah, it can be difficult. At least, like, with, you know, streams and stuff, you find a lot of people willing to play with you. Hey, Otter Guy, how are you? Otter Guy, um, <clears throat> I said this before, but I'm sure you would like to know. Um, I added a couple new redeems. Um... And they're a lot cheaper, so they don't- they aren't as expensive for you. I mean, for mm. everyone, but... <laughs> um, and basically, they're on a- a timer. So, every redeem is 10 minutes long, right? Um, so right now, um, Medio has redeemed Tofu Time. So after 10 minutes where the tofu time is over, um, and another redeem will go live if, if someone redeems it at the same time or before one redeem has uh, ended, right? So everyone gets 10 minutes, nothing overrides each other. Um, and then there's also a pet command. I'm not sure. I think that one also is the same thing where... You can't do two at once, but I'm not sure. Actually, <laughs> we we didn't try that. Uh, for for now, Chibi Kea is is gone until um I get my or until um the new model is live. Um. After that, there will be more redeems like changing my outfit. And taking <clears throat> my sleeves off my new model. Mm. 
Hey, other guy. I should find like a like a hat, like a a Christmas hat. hat. A Christmas hat. Mhm. Mm Santa Kaya. I could do chili bean. <laughs> Where I put like a hat, like a <laughs> as the Canadians would say, a toque. Can I send you one? Yeah, sure, sure. Santa baby. You ready for your dailies? Yeah, let's go and do that. Okay, I got me a Christmas chibi for oh, stream. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, uh, it's not too hard to change that. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, someone did it in the beginning of the stream, but you could still redeem it. No worries. It goes automatically. Mm -hmm. Advanced. Oh yeah, and it's cheap too. Can't see. Yeah, and it could be done more often because I know you guys like have no use for points. I have like no redeems, but <clears throat> as I find stuff, I will um, add some more redemptions because they're really easy to do. I think now you have a good amount of redeems though. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm I think I think everyone does <laughs> Mint, how are you? I mean, I'm feel I am feeling better. I I'm not feeling honestly like 100% better, and I know like it's just cause like you know that thing that kind of thing happens in time where I will get better, but um, I'm feeling a lot better than I did a couple days ago. It's crazy how fast like that medication works. But I mean, how are you doing, Mint? Guys, if you didn't know, Mint. Mint is a star um, graphic designer. In the past, she has done um, my scenes um but she's also done my uh what is it called the the this the thing you see when you go to the next screen <laughs> uh, the transition <laughs> the transition yeah yeah Yeah, I wanted to, I know I could have taken another day off or something, but I wanted to get back into everything. Like, I've missed streaming, I've missed talking to you guys, I've missed, like, everything about, like, just, like, normal scene, I guess. Since <laughs> you spent most of your time playing Monster. It's okay, it's okay. Otter Guy says, my recap. The high emote was 
this third most used. Really? Like, it's crazy because I only just added that. <laughs> Lost Ark is your Genshin, yeah. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Invulnerable to Hydra. Oh, I have to change my team then. Mm -hmm. As long as you're having fun, there's no harm, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you have that game, Lost Ark? No. Or, okay, I might be confusing it for something else. Here. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, man. So I'm doing okay. Emerge right now, right here. Adam's gonna be going on a trip soon. Uh -huh. This um, this upcoming weekend. Really? That's surprising. Wait, is it said differently though? <clears throat> I'm surprised. Thought my name was unique. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm going to Dallas. It's kind of a far drive. But I'm going to be going there for my brother's graduation. Yeehaw, Dallas. <laughs> I think it's going to be cold. It's been really warm here, but sometimes it snows in Dallas. <laughs> so I might have to wear a jacket for once. <laughs> I'm vulnerable to Electro. It means you have to change your team. <laughs> mm hmm. Come to East Coast. I've been to like Florida East Coast, but that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Oh wait, I missed where it was. Should mark on the map. Florida's its own thing, yeah it is. <laughs> The Australia of the USA. With the bugs for sure. We're way behind schedule. Next on the agenda. Next on the agenda. Oh yeah, Auto Guy lives in Florida. True. <laughs> Honor Guy is our resident Floridian. Oh, Mint, I need to ask you a question since we're relatively from the same area, right? Do you say Oregon? Or do you say Oregon? Like for the state. Yeah, for the state. Because Kaya, Kaya says it a certain way. And then I called her out on it. <laughs> you make it sound like I like offended someone. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pyro. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, you said like, oh, uh, I'm just helping with your English, you know. <laughs> You're not even from there, Victor. <laughs> I remember Whoa, Aaron. <laughs> What's with the caps? On Twitter you asked and somebody from Oregon said the correct way to pronounce it. Okay, whatever. What did they know? <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask Kevy that I couldn't remember that one day. <laughs> I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I just need confirmation that other people also say it like that. <laughs> that guy over there, he's picking a fight. Oregon. Oregon. Oregano. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Or okay. Oregon. Oregano. Oregano. Oregon. I say it this a similar way. Cause if you think about it, how do you say oregano? You know? Mm -hmm. I accepted that ring. I think so. The map should tell you. If you open up your map and it says, oh, you have unclaimed bounty or whatever. Yeah, that's why I say gone. Yeah. Well, how do you pronounce... J O N. How's the game going so far? The game is what it is. It's mainly just background to my thoughts and opinions. <laughs> <laughs> a bit after we do the the weekly stuff, he is gonna do a story quest. Mm -hmm. Ton. Yeah, English doesn't make much sense. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Son. Should we really so seven squares. Um, I don't know, Jeezy. Do. <laughs> I don't know you too well, honestly. Um, I want to do this one over here. Oh, uh, I mean, the thing is with Twitch, right, is that you've got people, like, using the website that are from all over the world in all different time zones. Uh, it's sad to say, but a lot of what Twitch is, is like, 
um, <clears throat> being engaging and having an engaging personality. And, you know, some people just have that naturally and some people have to actively try to be engaging. If you're not interested in trying to be engaging, then that's fine. That's just how it is. Yeah, like, everyone has something that, like, they can give right it's just naturally people watch someone who is like more high energy um you know super engaging but that's not to say that like you can't be successful in any other aspect you know what i mean what the main thing are we doing it's the one with the two geo bishops uh, okay we'll be fine high energy gives me anxiety yeah, it gives me anxiety too. It it makes me Good feel role. like I'm watching someone All who's right. putting on Maybe an act. But you know, I understand that there's like an audience for that. People like to feel like they're being entertained. Like um the person, you know, putting on the stream is like a character and less real. And I think like having that very like high energy personality like um, goes like hand in hand with that. Into the wind. Here comes the cat. The birds talk. Bring back you. For Rex Lapis. Thorn of ice and frost. We were so Next not like <laughs> together doing that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I think usually you do, Mona. On that one. Yeah, we, we did that pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean that's that's what you stand for and that's fine, you know? But you have to understand that like having that like personality is what majority of viewers like but if you're not looking to to really like oh i just totally messed that up <laughs> if you're not looking to like fit in that mold right then there's nothing wrong with that you know <laughs> like those the, the, this is like the same kind of thing that i had to like say to myself too like um you know i'm not as engaging or as personable or as exciting as some other people even some people that like aren't in our general community and that's just the way it is like and i don't have the energy in me to like be something else you know but that's just also the way some people are naturally you know I mean, though, it, it's, it's, what do you consider a, a failure? You know what I mean? Because that's a, a big part of it, too. You can't, like, have the same level as, um, you know, uh, it, this goes in, in life as well. Um, you're, you're, uh, success in your failure is not going to be the same as someone else's, right? And if being uh, successful to you is just doing better or the same than last month or last week or whatever, right? Um, then, you know, that that's what it is. So for some people, success is waking up every day making their bed and brushing their teeth Next on the you know that that's like success for some people's um and that's totally okay so want more for yourself you know especially with like you know social media and stuff like that it, it, it unfortunately it's like you know it's a lot of luck And 
hard work and wanting to, you know, and pushing yourself on on different platforms and stuff like that. And I know you've said in the past, GZ, that like you're not into doing stuff like that. Um, but you have to understand that that's what gets people ahead, you know. Well, that's the thing, you know, if it's not a priority, um, then it won't be a pro and then you won't, um, you know, go get to the next level. No touching! The wind knows me. Access denied! I thought this guy was dead. Almost. We're way behind schedule. Next on the agenda. Alright, this is the last one for me. Alright. Why did you pin Sun? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I forget about the pins and <laughs> there's also a highlight message. I forget about too. Was that an accident boss or <laughs> you have to look at it like this, G Z. Who is someone Find, find someone who is doing similarly to you, streaming-wise, and compare yourself to them. You know, age, content, stuff like that. You can't compare yourself to someone like- It would be foolish of me to compare myself to someone like, you know- just using this as like a, a familiar name to everyone, but it would be foolish of me to compare myself to Pokimane. Why? What? What do I get out of comparing myself to someone who's not um, even in the same like room as me? You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> It'd be foolish of me to to compare myself to someone who is even half that of her, or half that of that person, and so on. Um, you have to compare yourself to people who are doing relatively the same, who are doing the same things, right? You can't yeah. compare yourself to someone, um, you know, who's even in your friend circle, who is doing something totally different. You know, like if you were to compare yourself to me, Jeezy, that would be doing yourself a disservice. We don't stream the same things. We are not the same person. You know, we don't have the same personality. So there's no point in comparing yourself to me just because we know each other. You know what I mean? Let's go back to that domain. Oh, okay. And seeing okay. things yeah. like that really helped me um be less harsh on myself when it comes to streaming We want to go a different team? That'd be like comparing myself to Aaron. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want. Well, even then, I don't think you should be comparing it. There, There's so many factors, right? Oh, 
A lot of the stuff with content creation, right, um, is getting people to get to know you and to, to have that, like, first click on your content, you know what I mean? And if you're not playing something that um, is even remotely interesting to majority of people, if no one is watching it, you know, because on Twitch, right, you could look... Um, at how many people like stream a particular game, right? If you see that that number is like one person and you're that one person, then you're not gonna grow in a category like that. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about things like this because it's like, oh, behind the scenes, like, I don't wanna talk about, like, you know, this kind of stuff that has to do with streaming, but. You have to be realistic with yourself when you want to be like when you when you're when you say to yourself like why am I not like them? You have to think about these kinds of things very objectively, you know. Other guy watches Pokemon. I like watching Pokemon too. I don't think I've seen her, but stream. I haven't seen her stream in a long time, yeah. I really only see her on like Twitter and advertisements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next. I know right now it's more apparent to like compare yourself to others because like um, of all of the recap now, and people like posting their recaps and stuff, but this is fine. He didn't jump over. Yeah, I see sometimes Pokimane come up on my TikTok and she posts these funny stories sometimes. Some people are more interesting than others. That is true. But you have to think of that about yourself too. You know, but that's not right, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the way life is. Honestly, GZ, if you're legit asking for for advice. Um, this is my last one, Adam. Oh, okay. Um, there's so many, like, Twitch analytics you could use that help you figure out that statement. I know it's kind of harsh, right? Mm. But there's a lot of, um, Twitch analytics you could look at to, to help you figure that out. Exactly. Uh, and that's what I mean. Like, it's it's being active on other platforms. It's, um, you know, promoting yourself. It's actively um, trying new things and pushing yourself beyond your boundaries. And if you're not interested in doing that, then you're not interested in doing that. But you have to know that you're not going to grow at the same pace as someone else who is.
honestly and good for her though <laughs> it uh i'm happy she, you know yeah she's in a place where um she doesn't have to worry about like forcing herself to stream when she doesn't want to or all these other things i'd love to have that problem <laughs> Yeah, Pokemon has a bit of like job security. Mm hmm. Compared to like other streamers. Yeah, but I guess like you have to understand. I mean, I understand as a viewer that like the people I watch are not always going to be live and be wanting to be live um and yeah I, I don't know I wouldn't want someone to like force themselves to be live and do stuff when they don't have to she's been doing twitch for a very long time you know it's not just when we all knew of her Well, yeah, that's what I was saying before, um, boss with GZ is it's it's about your priority and if you want it enough. And sadly, like I know that sounds harsh, but it's the truth. Like, if you don't want it enough, you're not going to get over that hump of oh, I don't want to download this certain platform. Mm. All right, Adam. Are you gonna kick me? Mm-hmm. Kick you right. in the face. <laughs> Let me get a cough drop. I have like the box here to my COVID test. <laughs> I should put that hey, in Kaya, the garbage. Remember to stay hydrated. Thanks for the hydrate. Ooh, cat can. Otter guy redeem. How do you like it, Otter? Do you think it's cute? Look, only one story quest. Yeah, but it's like a big one, probably. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Oh yeah, four years. Mm. Come on. Serious suggestions, please. I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay, you understand? An essay. That means facts and logic. Well, well if it's facts and logic you're after, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? That's I'm gonna be our a mystery. When so gotta much use the restroom. There's little to be objective about. Unless, of course, you restrict yourself to textual criticism. Whoa. Yeah, Thanks for well, listening to you. This is my teacher's yeah, area no of research. Problem. I can't change that. But it's fascinating enough without having to send. I want to. I'm, I'm going to be skipping through to this, guys. You, y'all. I know y'all don't care. Hey, just... mentioned to Tara soon. Is it just Paimon or is it kind of unusual? Great. Let's go find out. Uh. -oh. Naturally, I, I'm actually a very harsh person. Um. <laughs> Or a very blunt person, because I feel like people don't hear it enough, you know? Lower. Alright, I guess I'll go with my tech- uh, If only we knew where to find that traveler. From what they say about her, this seems like the kind of thing she'd know about. <laughs> oh, you're the traveler. You say you know me always right <laughs> hey, no no of this is my first time coming face oh, so what for the uh, traveler I actually we don't know much
like you back? Ah, uh, uh, I s my teacher chose. If you don't mind, I. Uh, hold on, Sawada. Well, fair point. Let me give. But in the end, he threw it apart from the sword maker. That's right. Akaba's teacher has spent quite some time researching these events on the ground. This could. So first, the string. Yes, my. Th Stop shouting. This part's important. I just wanted to make it stand out. It just so happens that a friend of mine works at the government records office. He looked into it for me, and I can now confirm that all the aforementioned individuals did, in fact, live in Inazuma over 400 years ago. What is this guy have a British accent? Even back then, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. Oh, have a the man in chef, charge was a government official named Niwa. Curiously enough, it seems like he went missing too. Two missing people in this- That's right! What's more, Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Um, I would say a lot of people dislike her voice. Why are you not feeling it? Um, Otter? Oh, the swordsmiths? Yeah, um, like Ishin Art and so on? Wow, yes. You really know your stuff. That makes things easier. So, basically, this Niwa was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan. The something then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara clan, leading to their downfall. I don't know the details, but taken in light of everything else going on around that time, it makes you wonder whether it's all connected somehow. The Kaidahara clan? Sawada, you left out the biggest detail of all- Oh, yes, of course. How could I forget? Get to the point. According to information acquired by Akaba's teacher, the Kabuki Mono was not a human, but a, a puppet. Aha! Judging by the looks on your faces, you do know something after all. Uh, <laughs> uh no! Lyman just meant. I agree. It does. Oh, and please read my essay draft. Sawada was encouraging me to follow his more creative approach, but I think essays should be grounded in facts. Oh, how about if I plug the holes in Sawada's narrative with political intrigue? Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure- Akaba, look, your teacher has researched this extensively. Hmm. I've reached out to everyone I could think of. What besides, if there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting? Ugh, good point. Okay. We have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. All right, thank you. Hey, so that thing they were talking about... I wonder about if Kea Bot has a... Valid ear, doesn't it? A Twitch recap. Okay, then, even if we did know something of- After all, we kicked his butt and got him locked up. Information about people like that is usually super confidential, isn't it? If you ask Paimon, Akaba should just pick a different topic. There must be as many essay topics as there are trees in the forest. There's no point in- Hmm. Ah! Hey, did you see that? He literally just went by, over there. I really I kind of wanted to get um Garamouche, but no, it's not in the cards. He got locked up. Oh, quick, let's catch up and see. Keep up. I've been losing the 50-50 so much lately that, like, I can't, I can't, um, I don't have a lot of Primo gems anymore. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Nahida, bad news. We just saw the Baladir strolling around. Did he escape or? Ah! <laughs> hey. Sure enough, you're hey. here. 
Doctor, you gotta help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. Doctor, I don't follow you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Have a lot of questions. Please. Did you hear about the runner who was criticized? He just <laughs> took it in stride. It was my idea to set the balladeer free. I like that one. Well, we made a deal, <laughs> and he's gonna do some investigation in Ermansol for me. A deal? <laughs> you sure you trust this guy? Yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Poke. Poke. Hi. What did you expect? Why do you well, think Sumeru um, would keep me around otherwise? Poke. Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. But if that's the case, sometimes can't why poke you done me? it already? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. It was Nahida said there's still Okay, Jizzy, have a good rest out. of your night. Talk to you later, alligator. Ah. So, if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. <laughs> you know, I had this idea of starting to play Sims on stream. I don't know if you guys are into that. Well, that escalated quickly. That would it be I fun? I kind of want to start streaming more again. Calm down? Remember the days where I used to stream more? Mm-hmm. We'll see. I have a week off coming up pretty soon. So, we'll see um, if more streaming is in in store. You love designing games? Yeah, me too. Me too. I had this idea of remaking the whole, like, base game. So, all the base game houses and the characters and, and all of the packs that I have. And all I would use in, like, the base game is, like, base game items. And then, like, let's say, it, it, like, um, in, like, get to work or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. I would only use um, the get to work world items and, like, the base game. I, I don't know. I had an idea to do that. Like, That's a good idea. I remember we used to stream on Fridays. See people questioning the mm -hmm. that was off too. Just when you think you've seen it all. Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! Yeah, that would be as fun as too. But you know, honestly, I, I find more enjoyment in The Sims with, um... The with, uh, building stuff. Well... I, for one, have no reason to doubt you, considering you even struck. Yes, one in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. The Paladier's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. That puts him in quite a precarious position. Plus, He's a former harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Former. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Former? You mean, he's not a harbinger anymore? I take no pleasure in saying this, but it seems as if the doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser, so... Mm. Sometimes it's you using them, other times... It's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. You seem so clear-headed now. So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. <clears throat> <laughs> well, if mm. the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So, why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear. Don't. Yeah, obviously! Nahida, don't 
listen to him. Yeah, the Sims is fun. Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. We still have time. But it's been a very, very long time since I like actively played that game. That's why I think I, it would be fun getting back into it and like learning how to build things again. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. All right, then I'll do what we agreed. Did you build like go special now. houses, like themed houses? I built a lot. Uh -huh. In the Sims, a lot, a lot. Nahida, are you, uh, are you serious about this? Yes. Maybe we'll play The Sims on Thursday. That's a I good idea. No it's a very chill game, so. Mm -hmm. I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Yes. As I told you once before, there's information about your twin in Ermin's soul. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. This is an extremely important point. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this Sim than I am. <laughs> Soul Soul. <laughs> he was granted the power to connect with Ermin Soul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. The amount of information in Ermin Soul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Erminsoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information, and should be able to find it more quickly. Yo, what if he lies? Or, what if... You... Why am I just guessing trust him? He's treated us as enemies every time we run into him! I understand. But sometimes, everything is dictated by which side you're on. Mm, true. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. <laughs> I know what your heart desires most of all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark. Searching for the one candle whose light still burns. How As dramatic. deity... It is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, I want to do something for you. So, Nihita is the only one that basically came face to face with the Fatui, Fatui and was it. able to keep her noses. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. You've more than earned it. Hmm. I'm still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, of course I'll be there to help guide you through Ermin's Great. Then prepare yourselves. I'm going to transport you into Ermin's soul. Wow. 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 It looks pretty different here compared to last time. The colors are just one off the edge just now. Guess that must be because the mirror is at peace now. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Shut your beak, Jailbird! No way a prisoner gets to be so smug! I understand <laughs> that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards. But right now, I'm on temporary release. So maybe you should think about backing off a little. <clears throat> Sounds like a successful rendezvous. Huh? I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments, You'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermin Soul. 
It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru, unlike anywhere else. Ermensoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you on both sides, but it is essential that you remain calm. We didn't do anything to him. He only came at us. Fine. Let's call it truce, but only until this mission's over. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are going to be traveling together after all. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. Why does he still have... Ooh, Cat King is back. Why does he still have, like, the... Things from like in his yeah, emote on him. Yeah. Sure I thought maybe he would have his new outfit on. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. If there are no further objections, I suggest we get going. Or did you need some time? I like this to outfit more, honestly. I like the outfit, kind of. I I don't like the chest piece he has. And I honestly, no, this may be controversial, but I don't like the hat. We can start now. Ermansoul access grant. Initiating connection procedure. Is this a small sapling? Oh, darn it! Come on, let's catch up with him! His hat is like his most... Iconic feature, though. I know, I know. Wow. I just don't so like it. Inside of kind of weird looking. Ooh. Hyman's never seen anything like this. And it feels like a sacred place. Ermin's soul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of I information hip. flowing here means something. He hip. Hip, there's a new bunny redemption. COVID can account. Yeah, basically having COVID, I, I grew cat ears. Pick your jaws up off the floor. It's time to go. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? <sighs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermansoul. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to having to go back to work is? tomorrow. Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Before Kaya felt worse because of COVID, Seven had to get her cat ears. Yeah, that's what made me feel better this time Adam gave me Permission cat granted. ears. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let's go. Stay close. Don't go I had to give them to Kaya before she died. Mm -hmm. Hey, so say we did go running off in here. What would happen? <laughs> what, what are you smirking at? I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Mm. Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. No, not my emergency food. Hey, apprentice, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hey, apprentice. Those are all packets of information from inside Ermansoul. Be careful not to touch them. What if I touch them? Story quest. Touch him. I can't. I have to get like. It looks the same in every direction. Yeah, kind of. Doing good. That's no good to hear. Huh. What do you know? He 
was actually telling the truth. I'm feeling a lot better. Is he mocking me again? Oh, what is it this time? There's a time um. and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? I've done a lot of rest in these last couple of days, and it's really we're here. Plenty of chicken soup. You know, actually, I I, ha I only had soup twice, and once was today. The whole time I had um this like spicy tofu soup. Um, one day with rice and kimchi. And then today I made, huge um, like just noodle soup. I probably should have had more soup. Lesser Lord Kusanali. But I had like food, food. Good, you made it. <laughs> are you ready? You still have like your sense of taste. Yeah, I didn't lose my sense of taste at all. Um, I know some people with COVID, they lose their sense of smell and their taste, but I didn't lose any of begin. that, thankfully. Preparing to I would have, like, Kata's died if I lost my sense well, of he taste. he is actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. The rest is up to you. If you discover anything at all, make That sure makes me this. most afraid of it. You know, I saw this TikTok one time of someone saying how um they had covid two years ago and they only just got their sense of taste back oh wow isn't that crazy can you imagine not having taste for two years we'll i would i would die instantly would make eating certain oh, foods we're easier we're the ones with nothing to do one of them still says things don't taste the same. That's so sad. But you know, to be honest, the medicine that they have you on, Paxlov, it's called, um, it tastes disgusting. Like it leaves the the whole entire time you're on the medication, it makes this taste in your mouth. It's like cardboard, like burnt cardboard or something like that. It's yeah. so disgusting the taste. How is my family doing? Uh, well, I gave COVID to my brother that lives with me and my brother who has cancer, and I also gave it to my grandpa. Well, I didn't give it to my grandpa, technically. My brother gave it to my grandpa. Yes, I've also invited Paimon to join. Huh? What the... We can talk to each other inside our heads? <laughs> but they're doing okay, I think. I think. That's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. Paimon's never tried this before. This is great! So, Paimon's been wanting to ask you something. Yeah. You I hope they feel better soon, too. Yeah. Hope they feel better. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. <laughs> My reading our minds, are you a friend? Well done. Smart and attentive as always. So, you made contact with that part of his mind. Well, it's true. <laughs> Betrayal. Can you imagine being able to like read today. people's minds? Huh. That I would be crazy. Nothing could get under that guy's skin. Turns out he can get hurt and angry just like anyone else. Mm. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. How sad. Can you imagine? Um, if you guys have seen his character trailer, it was so sad. Like, cast aside by his mommy. Speaking of puppets, we 
ran into two people at the academia today talking about an essay. Turns out the topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. Naida, do you know anything about that? If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I know about all of that. Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatarasuna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. Interesting. Oh? How interesting. Those two managed to deduce quite a lot through guesswork alone. So the guessing got it right? Guessing. <laughs> well, they guessed right about one thing. Tatarasuna was sabotaged. Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Funny how all the good ones happen when I'm not involved. <gasps> ah, uh, what makes you think we're talking to each other? <laughs> Don't insult me. You're having a private conversation without me. Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. So... Have you found anything yet? Still looking. Don't get your hopes up, though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermensoul at all. Wait, how did you know about that? Didn't Ahita tell you? It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. Yeah, that is true. We have met him quite a few times. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. And making cordial conversation is something I can manage. Mm -hmm. Huh? I really like his Wait. voice actor. Man, I really wish I could get him. I like his voice actor too. I was just thinking that. This light. It looks similar to those saplings. What can Anonymous data. Get the agreement. You have to share it with. Shh. Just wait. Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara Suna's furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Is that so? <sighs> well, since you That's insist. Uh... <gasps> it's. Oh. Ooh, a cutscene. I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. Under your leadership, everyone else. Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place, like a giant village. People are gainfully employed, their lives have purpose, they are motivated. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their Who's purpose between guy? steel Who's and blade. <laughs> that is why you accepted the proposal this brought to like you by myself and Akame. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same timescale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me. And now, every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I believe it is you, sir 
who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. Hey, Kea. So you Remember say, to stay Asher. hydrated. Thanks for the hydrate. Everyone hydrate. Oh, thank you. My good sir, what do you mean? Oh, yes, Apprentice. There's uh, some new redemption. Thank you for the head pack. I tried to resist thinking it was all connected because I didn't want to speculate and I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. Strange Phil. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still. I suspect you understand it better than I do. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope, but that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? Ooh. I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. This guy has the same he voice the as book. Ito, I think. You think so? After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of well, Mikoshi like Torichio, the, same voice the yokai after, struck down by the shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You are You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? Why, Mr. Niwa? He does have are a nice you suggesting voice, I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Probably to my death. <clears throat> but what about you? What are you still doing here? Ooh, tell Judging him. from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the act. We're past that now. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? <clears throat> don't you have all your gonna answers gonna stab by him. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. <gasps> I told you. A moment like this. Where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. <sighs> you. You. Oh, you can. <laughs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. <laughs> and yet... Despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity and what Is I that seek the in Katara Suna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? <clears throat> if you kill me, like him. there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. 
You're a human. You're just missing a heart. <gasps> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. He'll be found out. But... It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me the <laughs> Doctor. <gasps> I was right. It is the Doctor. The Fatui? Who? What do you want? Just to create a minor inconvenience for your nation. That's it? That's why you gave us your cursed technology? Just to let loose the evil energy from the crystal marrow? <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. <laughs> I've never seen that show so give in to your fury. I want to see what happens. I mean, I know of it cuz it's like popular, but I've never seen it. Puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure innocent puppet would only end up being only used seen up by in. someone it's else too long instead. To get into. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? What is um Doctor Hill? Yeah. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> Poor Neon. If you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him. One of us. The one piece is too long, too. Well, you're just starting one piece. He has nothing to prove to anyone. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. Hey, Danny, how are you? The only ones who think like that are people like you. Oh, this what is a sad. beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I hey, shall Danny. redefine myself. Tired day. Mm. Make sure you get some rest. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. Well, you would you lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Ooh, Popeyes. Mr. Ooh, Niwa? Popeyes. Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating Inazuma's inner workings. <laughs> what fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to dust. Six dollar meal. Is that new? I saw that they added a new, um, a new sandwich. <clears throat> oh, scaramouche. Hey, are you alright? Dottore. Oh, the black and chicken? <laughs> Dottore. Good. Good. Was that... The doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? But why do we see things from his perspective? 
When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. You have to admit, it must be the truth. Maybe so, but it means nothing. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. You just made curry. You haven't cooked it in a um, month. You know I haven't had the chicken sandwich in a while. So Maybe when I'm feeling better, I'll get it. <sighs> Sometimes when I have things when I'm sick, it ruins it for me and I'm feeling better. Oh, yeah, me too. Let's give him some space. He looks really mad. I need to give him some time to process his emotions. Paimon's still confused about the Tatara Suna incident. So the doctor was behind it, but why is that guy? Yeah, so today I tested um negative gladly. Um yes, I'm also glad that the COVID arc is over. Though I'm still in a house with people who have it, so fingers crossed Nobody I don't get has sick ever again. You like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Later, the doctor showed up disguised as a mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just a plan. Yeah, everyone's vaccinated. But I mean, I was vaccinated too. So I ended up getting it. It's because I was not careful for one day. One day, I swear. One day, I didn't wear my mask in public, and I think that's when I got it. and handed it to the balladeer. Then he instructed him to enter the furnace. Now you're gonna wear it everywhere. Caused by the smelting process, the load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, "This device seems to have protected me. What's in it?" The mechanic answered, "Niwa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for." He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. <clears throat> the mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it had protected him from the filth. He thought Niwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground <clears throat> and left Tatarasuna without looking back. Holy moly. So the doctor killed an innocent man and pinned everything on the victim? That's terrible. Mm. This is getting so dark. I felt like in the beginning... Although, like, crazy things happened in Genshin, like, no one died, you know? And I kind of, like, half expected no one to die in this game. Like, for reals. Oh, yeah. People die. Yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. You haven't been wearing your face hey, mask at banana all? banana back! Everyone check your posture. Because mine oh. is great right now. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't know. It's still important, I think, to wear it, but teach his own. Detour, you brazen face. <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him.
Um. Oh. <laughs> Shall we see how he's doing? Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's a scary expression. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. Oh, that's so sad. <sighs> hmm. Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. But unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermansoul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. Interesting. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin's soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. <clears throat> huh? About what? The reason why there are records about your brother in Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was his first destination when he arrived in this world. I'm doing okay. I still have like a sore throat and stuff. Um, and a cough here and there. And I'm kind of like achy still. But mm -hmm. every day I get better, you know, a little bit. Plus, a little bit. he only came to this world because right the heavens too. responded to the summoning. Responded? The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria and lived with your brother for a time. <clears throat> I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Mermansoul, but was it valuable? Very valuable. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Why is he being so weird? <laughs> huh? What have you done? Well, this thing's Karamis is always kind of weird. Right. My power's all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power, like he has an emptiness to him, I can't sustain this shield for very long. Ooh, Aaron redeemed cat can. I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. <clears throat> so in return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. It'll go to Bunny after ten minutes, and then it'll go to Tofu after twenty minutes. <coughs> Aaron. We're just trying to break the stream. Give me your hand. You won't break it. Can you hear my voice? We tested it yesterday. No, it might have been two days no, ago. I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is exchange a few <laughs> words with you. Look at time on space. You break it, you buy it. Yeah. Pay up, Aaron. So tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? Done. Huh? What the? What happened? <gasps> I not only saw you hold hands for a second. Thank you for the 840 bits. I appreciate it. Nothing. I was just thanking her for helping me. <laughs> Why the caps, guys? Why the caps? Oh, I see, I see. So long. 
I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Where are you going? Hey, wait up! Didn't you say not to go running off? Fast reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. <clears throat> From this day forth, the names Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Mm. Those who died in Tatarasuna because mm. of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Balladeer! Don't do anything stupid! You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. But if a colony That's of like harmless you. ants isn't threatening anyone, <laughs> I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily, everything can be set right. It's time to solve this one. Balladeer! Balladeer! Uh-oh, he disappeared. Come on, we gotta find him somehow. We have to find him somehow. When will we see our oh, brother no. again? Hello. Can you hear me? Nihida! Traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. What happened just now? I have a suddenly come up. It was the Balladeer's fault. He... He shut you out! I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? Or... Did he achieve something beyond his abilities? And it took everything he had. Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermin's soul. Mm. You're making a cafe. In, um, Animal Crossing? We're out! And we're at, uh, an inn or something? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. I'm sorry, but... This isn't something I need your help with. Leave this one to me. An emergency? How bad is it? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. Interesting. Her voice has gone. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? I think he's trying to right his wrongs in the past. He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible! Right! You can't just rewrite history. All that stuff happened already in real life. It's like, um, imagine Paimon drank all the water in this inn. Even if no one was there to see it, Paimon would sure as heck remember. Hmm. So, why does Paimon still have a bad feeling about this? Ooh, Paimon's so confused. Huh? Oh, erase himself. Interesting. Uh-oh. Paimon's head is overheating from trying to understand what he's up to. Paimon's had it with that little brat. He's been nothing but trouble ever since we met him. There's no way he'll actually succeed, right? Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I don't think they'll There's disappear. We about it at this point. <laughs> hey, have you got any ideas on what we should Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But I wish I there was more interaction way. between I the be different able to sleep a um week tonight. Archons. So you know about, Yeah. Uh, we, this um leaks. But I don't want to discuss them. <laughs> Paimon's probably gonna collapse of anxiety here. All right, Paimon will start. First dish. Hmm. Munstat grilled fish. Oh, and chicken mushrooms and dragon chili chicken. Almond tofu, satisfying salad. Oh, oh, also Adeptus Temptation, Golden Shrimp Balls, Triple Layered Consomme, Lotus Seed and Bird Egg Soup. Oh, <laughs> she's just talking about the food. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, if it affects Paimon, doesn't that mean that Paimon is from the world? This world? What's wrong? I think so. Eyes are like saucers. Was it I always thought Paimon, Paimon was from like another world. So, I mean, unless it's just all. Mm -hmm. Is that someone's name? Because it sounds like a nickname or something. Isn't Paimon like a huh? god? Pine by Paimon, but is everything okay? You're acting like this is an emergency. Interesting. Imagine if they really change things in Shinazuma. It's been a while. Of course. Go ahead. No. Oh. <laughs> now there's a question I wasn't expecting. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokuden, comprised of five branches Aminoma, mm. Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of blade. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline. And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its art alive. But fortunately, Kaida Harakazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Now, two clans remain <gasps> of the original Gokuden Five. Ajua. Oh, wait, my thingies are cut off. Oh, your ears. Bunny, bunny. Is Hip still here to see Bunny Kea? Maybe. If my Maybe memory not. serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. Oh yeah, we were! Paimon remembers that now! <coughs> hey, your power you. We learned the 
bit about the decline of the right and go kid <laughs> a boot slapping good like day. such a shame <laughs> <sighs> that Hello, yeah. my friends is a tragic tale indeed in fact this was not made known to me for most of my life all these years i knew of those great clans demise but never the cause <sighs> only recently when the question was on my How mind, are you doing your... did I ask Kaidehara Kazuha about this? He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokuden, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. Cutscene. The Raiden Gokuden were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Vengeful? Why? Four hundred years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day, and overseeing it, was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa, mm -hmm. though he had family ties to the Kaidehara clan. Knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but neither of them made it out. The mm -hmm. smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. Mm. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death, and he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. Generation after generation bore this grudge, living in utter misery. Alas, if only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, the then head of this family reached the end of his wits. He could bear their fate no longer, and yet he could do nothing to change it. Finally, he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the right in Gokuden. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet of anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan which he belonged to. <clears throat> his goal was absolute, the devastation of all of the Raiden Gokuden. But when he came to the Kaidehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. <clears throat> He failed to catch them unawares. Oh, wow. They fought back fiercely, and they did not spare his life. That is why the Kaidehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. Wow. Uh, I suppose they were the lucky ones under the dire circumstances. Hmm. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? I guess in that circumstance, you all would have gone in anyway, you know. So I guess yeah. he died anyway. Kazuha? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. You we remember that cutscene? Over some tea. Mm -hmm. He seemed well. Me too. My pleasure. Don't tell Paimon! There are other places you- On to the next stop! Hmm. Can you imagine though if it didn't stop at the Kamisato estate? We're here! Um, this is the Yashiro Commission's headquarters. Traveler! It's been a while. If you're looking for the commissioner in this Kamisato, 
I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. They're not- Are they out on business? The commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. What do you think? Shall we go in? If it were anyone else, I couldn't allow it. But <laughs> seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I think it should be okay. We'll be heading in then. Thanks. Hmm? Hello, dears. Is there something you want to say? <laughs> of course, traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. What would you like to know? I feel like I don't remember oh, these people. Both very well no. indeed. Lately, Miss Kamisato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the commissioner's behalf. <laughs> As That's what for she the does. commissioner himself. As well, for the commissioner you know, himself. Ever, well, that you much know. Has I know. <laughs> Her voice <laughs> that cool. Like, it doesn't match. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be like an old lady. Very much so. Well, got any more questions? You're very welcome. In fact, Miss Kamisato talks about you all the time. She seems so thrilled to have you as a friend. I must say, many things in Inazuma. Oh, I mean, whenever the commissioner mm. dines at home, Toma always joins him. I always find myself at my most relaxed when I'm serving the two of them. The commissioner has such a busy schedule that he doesn't always have the chef. They say it's because Toma is a much better chef than most. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> commissioner is so fond of they get to talking about you sometimes too, you know. Oh, me. <laughs> always with a very fond tone. Miss Kamisato occasionally joins them as well. Whenever the whole family gets together and they start talking about people they've met and experience, it's been many years now since the late Mr. and Mrs. Kamisato passed away. Mm, they still died. Much has happened as someone who is old and gray enough to have watched their son and daughter grow up. It makes me so so. In the future, if you ever do have the wonderful... Paimon likes it here, too! Paimon's itching to try it! We may just have to invite ourselves around for dinner sometime! <laughs> of course! Alright, goodbye for now! We're great! Goodbye, ma'am! Don't worry, we'll see you. Our... Alright, then. Mm. Oh, are you two leaving already? Yep, everything's taken care of now. Very well, safe travels. Goodbye. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the <laughs> Traveler and Paimon? Xavier? What are you doing here? Wait, did she say Xavier? Yeah, she did. I was expecting Xavier. <laughs> it is Xavier. Xavier. <laughs> well, these people come from, like, the French region, though. But I was still. in the general area, and <laughs> oh, it now does he? I'm in that outfit, area. I guess. Yeah. There, that's me. So, what about you two? What is it, Frontaine? I think that's the French. We have yeah, some yeah. questions and thought you might be able to help. 
certainly do. I've researched the furnace here in some depth. If there's anything you want to know, just ask away. Ooh, catch a Pokemon. Mind the back catch of my Pokemon. hand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a uh, good many no times way. before. You see a green ball? Nice. Not only that, but you I can have some ice cream Inazuma, on your whose families used to live in Tataras. Mm -hmm. hmm? Oh, well, uh, it's a, a bit of an story, don't you know? I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting operations in the nation. Goes back around a thousand years. A couple? One was just in the last few years, the other was several hundred years ago. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. There was a guy back then too. <laughs> they say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the technological collaboration between our two nations goes back a long way. How about Ooh. that? Media will have to wait for his pet. Hey, weren't you gonna ask Xavier something about the <clears throat> Oh, it's coming oh, after no. Tafu. I didn't realize you two were here for a it's history a lesson. Me neither. Paimon doesn't know what's gotten into this one today. Feels like we've been preparing for a history exam. Hmm? What brought this on? Did you just wake up today? Sure, go ahead. A kabuki mono. Hmm. No, I can't say that I have. Reading Peach. <laughs> I do know the word. Inazuman for those eccentric types. It'll be like always go 10 minutes. Dressed to the nines. Just the sort of person that I'd like to meet, actually. But sadly, I've never had the pleasure. Nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatara Suna is concerned. I've been kind of craving of some course. ice cream too Don't lately. Mm. What kind of ice cream do you oh, guys really like? Okay, bye, Cookies and cream. Oh, you're most welcome. More you got donuts. <laughs> um, I really like um. Farewell. What's that? Pecan? Pecan ice cream? Looks like Pecan. you got all the information you're looking for. Yeah. That one's Ooh, good. Ooh, crispy cream. Sure, but what's up with you today? I had donuts Whatever the last is, couple of days, like so... Really keep your smile, Spino Crocodile. No matter what happens, Paimon will always be there for you. Hey. Butter, butter pecan, oh. yeah. Krispy Kreme is pretty good. I think they are very airy, but still really good. Mm-hmm. You're like the best glazed donut. Literally. Keep up. Ha. Keep up. Keep up. Ha. I like Dunkin' Donuts a little bit more. Hey, it's them. Indeed we are. If you have a moment, we'd love- We have time. What do you- The same topic we discussed last time. Obviously. Still looking for more info about Tatara Suna, huh? Hmm. Should we join them? Unfortunately, we haven't made any real progress. Huh? Oh, uh... Interesting. I presume you'll want to read mine as well. Extract one. I feel like I'm in school again.
But a beignet is not a donut. It's a pastry. You know, hip, if the next time you go to um, Popeyes, see if they have their beignets. They're pretty well, good. What do you think? Hey, I didn't know Popeyes had them. The mm -hmm. What did you find out? Something big? I normally just get the it's sandwich. Get the sandwich and go. But <laughs> if you like it, they only have chocolate there. <laughs> if you like chocolate, Donuts. Hey, Kaya. Oh, yeah, New Orleans had them. Thanks for the hydrate. So Everyone hydrate brilliant. as well. Well, well. So it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh. We're going to have you two cuts in a row. So no ghost <laughs> Unfortunately. I would see if I can, like, do this one and that one at the same time. This new information but I think it might mess everything up. Credence to my hypothesis. Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days, <sighs> to the extent that harming them was conceived of, at least by the perpetrator, <laughs> as a way of exacting <laughs> revenge against those in power. Poor Pat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Point taken. You were right. But that doesn't mean I can't carry on with my novel. And they're back at it. Oh, so sorry. Look at us rattling on about our projects and ignoring you. Pets. You're welcome. Pets. Yeah. Keep us in the loop if you find out anything. The pet lasts else. for five seconds. Mm hmm. Or is it four? It's not very long. Four seconds, yeah. I think it should almost be done. I feel like it's been almost 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Once Tofu goes away, the Traveler, invisible pet on. comes. How have you been? Ooh, nice. Ugh, where to start? Paimon hasn't had a moment's re- The Balladeer? Hmm. This sounds like some yeah, there's the pets. <laughs> That'd be for like 30 seconds. <laughs> you look troubled. It... Traveler? Hey, what's wrong? You look so upset. But that means that um our brother could have erased stuff about us. Quite a story. So, uh, this puppet known as the Balladeer erased himself from Ermin Soul, hoping that he could change the past. <laughs> but how is he even able the to do that? The pet is so cute. As the traveler it said, is. he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. Admittedly, I remember it a little differently. I don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeat. Nevertheless, it does make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermin Soul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. So, you believe this person really existed? And we just don't remember him because... Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But 
I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person who would dare if the Traveler comes from a world beyond to that. That's why there's no information about her in Ermin's soul. And it also explains why any changes to Ermin's soul wouldn't affect her. So if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has been rewritten, it's you. It's quite incredible when you think about it. Mm. Paimon's having a hard time understanding this ballad dear guy's motivation. I can only make inferences based on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was, only you remember that. Mm. That means that, like, none of the Fatui remember him, too. Yep. He remembers, right? Catch a Pokemon. I got you, Victor. It couldn't change the fate of the ones Apple who tongue. died. Right? Apple tongue. Using an Ultra Ball. Once the balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must that one's have the one that looks like a big pie. The people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. He couldn't keep hating humans after that. And if he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. The story makes sense. Every part of it. The balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Ermansoul. That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Ermansoul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Mm. Yeah, it does make sense, but it still ended in tragedy for his friends. I wonder when he gets his vision. So like, do they show that? He gave or is it everything just... to do this, but it seems Assume, like he got um... nothing in return. I think it's just assumed. Please wait a moment. I want to check something. Wait, no, I think they shot it. Found it. This should be the one. It's word. been a while. It turns out that I have a strange way of confirming everything she has told us. What is it? A record from a personal collection. It was tucked away in a corner. You should take a look. Is this a fairy tale? I authored this record myself. Huh? You wrote a fairy tale that somehow has something to mm. do with the balladeer? When combined with the traveler's narrative, it's clear that this story is an allegory. Everything in it is a symbol for something else. Hold on. So this record survived from the past past? Yes. Any information about the Balladeer or the Kabuki Mono and other records will have been changed. But I wrote this story in a way that means it was left intact. Changing the information in Ermansoul changes to that. But Ermansoul can't change information that was well hidden in advance. I guess I must have written this story as a backup before the balladeer entered Ermansoul. Mm. That's incredible! What a great idea! And sending the traveler into Ermansoul with the balladeer must have been a further precaution. I knew she'd remember everything. This story is abstract enough that it still resonates with the present information recorded in Ermansoul. But if we connect all the different pieces together, the true story that emerges is the one she told us. The now erased life of the balladeer. Wow. There was once a lone monster draped in fox fur. <laughs> the monster found a family of foxes, joined them, and they became friends. The monster lived with the family day and night, and everyone treated it as one of their own. Once in a while, the monster would take off its fox fur at night and lament to itself as it gazed at its reflection in the water. I am a monstrosity, yet they are too foolish to see it. I pity them. Mm. 
But the monster soon found solace when another came to live among the foxes who was not their kin. A kitten, carved from the wood of a white tree, who had been abandoned by the humans. The kitten, too, wished to become a fox, but its tail was too slender, and it could not grow a coat of richly colored fur. Yet when the other foxes saw this, they spoke words of comfort to the kitten. Even without a tail and fur like ours, you are still one of us. Mm. Oh. Furious at this happy resolution, the monster lit a fire on the mountain. Mm. The terrified animals panicked as the fire spread. The only way to extinguish the flames was to make a sacrifice. A gray fox stood up and addressed the monster. It said, You are the cleverest among us. Surely you can help us find a way to solve among this. Us. The monster smiled, led the fox toward the fire, mm. and murdered it. The gray fox's heart was turned into a beautiful drop of water, clear, spotless, and pure. The monster gave the heart of water to the kitten, telling him, The foxes have decided. You are the one who must be sacrificed. Take this, quench the flames, and die for your fox kin. Mm -hmm. The fire was extinguished, but the kitten lived. It left that side of the mountain and found a little bird who had a broken wing. The two promised they would spend their whole lives together, but the little bird did not have long left to live. It passed away soon after. After burying the bird, the kitten left the mountain for good. Never again would it cherish a single creature, nor a single blade of grass that stood on that mountain. The kitten spent the nights wandering oh. aimlessly, gnashing its teeth at the moon. How it wished to swallow the moon and devour the moonlight. If the world could only return to darkness, then it would finally be peaceful and content. I will become the new moon, the answer to everything. Then, no one will know that there were once birds, foxes, and cats in this world. And no one can know that they were different. Hmm. That was sad. We solved it! That was. <sighs> My dainty is kittens. This is not just the Balladeer story. It is his very own memories. I made a backup so that it would be preserved no matter what happened. I don't know. Maybe. To become a god. I know. experimented on and modified countless times. It was brutal torture. And the only reason he was able to survive is that he was a puppet. This memory was extracted from him by the scholars. Presumably, they kept it to have something to defend themselves with. Creating a deity was just the first step. Some of them wanted to be able to control it. That's why they backed up his memory for later use. Mm -hmm. I buried it deep inside one of my own dreams, and then hid it inside an allegorical story so that it wouldn't be altered. It's hard to believe that this person really existed, let alone that he tried to get rid of us on more than one occasion. Paimon has no memory of him at all. He completely vanished like a puff of smoke. The Balladeer agreed to help me look for information about the Descenders, and although he was unsuccessful, he still helped you. Before he vanished, he confirmed an important detail, that Conria was where your twin first came into this world. Mm. We still don't know how the change to Ermin Soul will affect the senior ranks of the Fatui, but in all likelihood, they won't even remember their own Harbinger. It sounds like Paimon wouldn't like this guy a whole lot if he was still around. But still, Paimon doesn't like the way it all ended that much better. This is why wisdom alone cannot answer all our questions. We look, we see, and we comprehend. 
but the question still troubles us. That's true. So the answer is not everything. People yearn to find the truth and then conquer the troubles they face. When you give someone the truth, you give them a chance to choose their own destiny. To others looking on, this may seem like a pointless endeavor, but for him, the chance to act on his desire to disappear must have meant a lot. Never forget that even when we walk beneath dark clouds along a road filled with suffering, the light of wisdom is always there, guiding us toward a better destination. Mm. And that is what you have been doing all along. Yeah, Mir is right. Cheer up! How about we go get something to eat? We can pick up this heavy conversation again later. Good idea. Paimon, why don't you take her out for a walk to clear her head? You got it! Come on, Traveler! You need to get out of your head for a while. You'll feel much better after taking a walk. Hmm. Let's go get a snack for one of the stalls in the Grand Bazaar! It'll be sure to lift our s This is pretty long. Mm -hmm. It must be really tough being the only one who remembers all that. I think we've gone past most of it, though. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Keep up. It's mostly been a bunch of, like, dialogue. Mm-hmm. But it's still interesting, like... Mm hmm It is. <coughs> the story, I feel like, just gets more and more interesting in Genshin. Hey, Kea, remember to stay hydrated. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, thank you. Hey, banana back. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check as well. <sighs> All right, whatever you want. Well, Paimon will be right here when you figured stuff out. Then we can get something to eat. Me shrimping. Me shrimp back. Shrimper. What is it? Have you figured it all out? She said that no one can erase themselves from existence, not even her. Otherwise, why would she need to create her own reincarnation? Bless her Lord. Just an always. To do the deletion for her, there would be no form. Uh, why'd you jump up all of a sudden? Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small mm. problem with the last bill. Look, here. <clears throat> hey! Hey, wait! Hmm? You mean me? No, not you. That kid! Didn't you see? Little rascal grabbed my last two fresh sunsetias and ran. Look. If you're gonna help out here, you can't keep spacing out, okay? What is it? The work's too boring for you? Or has the big city got too many distractions? I wasn't paying close enough attention. Sorry, boss. I think you're right. Maybe it's the city. It's so exciting. It can be hard to focus. Who's that guy? You know him or something? Mm. He's who? You're a strange one, kiddo. You say you don't want any money for helping out here, and then when I actually give you some work to do, you keep letting yourself get distracted. I don't want to take advantage, so I'm happy to pay you what I pay anyone else. But if you keep acting like this, pretty soon I won't be able to afford to. No, no, please. I mean it. You don't need to pay me anything. I'm just so thankful you agreed to take on an outsider like no me. Name now. You're welcome, I guess. 
but I got bigger uh, things I to want worry him. about. Look, we're all out of Sunsetias. And I promised the lady down the street I'd deliver a fruit Are you saving me for anyone in particular? No, but I won't have enough, so what's I'll the point of trying? Just a moment. I'll be right back. I mean, there's possible. Do you get him? <laughs> you have enough for, like, at least 30 pulls. Stop. What do you mean, Medio? I'm gonna level with you, kiddo. I've never met a worker who said they didn't want to wage before. And at first, I got greedy. Couldn't believe my luck. But I figured you'd start mm. asking for something in return eventually. You don't want money. You don't take days off. And in your free time, all I see you do is wander around <laughs> taking Literally. in the sights. Are you a... Uh, that's right, I am. Uh, we can talk more about that later. Wander. First, let me get those fruits you needed. Sunsetius, was it? Uh, I'll be right back. Hey, what do we do now? Okay, stay out of sight. Where did he even go? Keep up. Ha. Keep up. Isn't that by the way point? I guess it's faster to just walk. Mm. Yeah, this'll do. Even though you say he's the balladeer, what? Oh, all right. This should be enough. Hmm. Ah, guess I should wash them before I. T huh? You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. Ah, have we met before? Mm. Mm, no, we haven't met. But you- I have no recollection. Uh, are you absolutely sure? Sorry, but I just can't take your word for it. A puppet? Well, maybe- Huh? <gasps> you were right! The look on his face! I guess you do know me after all. That is not something I share with a lot of people. Look, I'm just a wanderer. But seeing as you've gone through all this trouble to track me down, I'm sure... Okay, but please let me deliver these goods to my boss. Are you really working for that guy? He said you don't want any more? Yes, I ran into him out in the wilderness during a storm. And he let me take shelter in his cart. In return, I said I'd be his helper for a while. That? Oddly nice of you. Let me take these back. Then I'll come with you. And let's return to the city. Hmm. Have you done the, the trial for him? Yeah, I have. So what do you think? I thought it was interesting gameplay. It is interesting. Keep up. I'm not sure if I want him though. Mm -hmm. Here you go, boss. Oh, you really went and picked some more. Hmm. Something's come up, and they need to borrow me. Sorry, boss. I'm afraid I'll be away from the stall for a while. <sighs> I was just about to pay you anyway. Go wherever you want, kid. Don't waste your time here. What? I get it, okay? You just wanted to help me out, to thank me for giving you shelter from the rain that day. Even then, I don't understand why you're so adamant that you don't want any pay for it. But look, it was pouring down, and there you were, bunny, sauntering bunny. along without a care in bunny, the world, bunny. like you had nowhere to be and didn't even care that it was raining. Imagine you were me for a second. It's a little weird, Has right? Seen the bunny? Why is Maybe. this guy mm -hmm. traveling during a rainstorm if he's not trying to get some? He was uh, here before Adam. 
But anyway, taking you he in didn't put me out even slightly. I, I mean, he was me talking when I, the bunny <laughs> redeem was up, <laughs> so... Is, but I don't... No, you're right. Then I suppose this is where we say goodbye. Don't mention it, kiddo. I've run into all kinds of characters over the years. I just hope you find your path. Thank you. All right, done. Thanks for waiting for me. We can go now. I'm gonna take him. Oh. Can't we just let him live his life? You know what I mean? It hmm. seems kind of sad that he really wanted to start over anew. And we're like showing him his past traumas. Hey, Stellar, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I mean, not a hundred percent, but I'm I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> how are you doing? What's wrong? Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. <laughs> so... You say that you are trekking across to Vat to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazumans who describe themselves in this way call themselves Shugenja. Why do you refer to yourself as a wanderer? Well... It seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me. And that I have Boy, a past well. unknown even to myself. Well, you need to get some rats. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather... Uh, this is a difficult one to explain. I think I it's 4 a.m. for me to you, too. Like this often, mm -hmm. but or maybe a little bit case, later, I don't know. It seems that... It ought to be called, a uh, previous incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? Yes, something far more distant Ooh, than the from the, the same area. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay, I have to ask. What was I like in my previous incarnation? Um... Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. What? If it's well, that difficult to talk about, imagine driving I have no for three hours. It'll be just as difficult to hear, but I'll be able to handle it. Please, tell me the truth. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. Um... No, I didn't pull. It's not that I don't like him. On the contrary, I actually do really like him. It's just that right now, it's not in the cards for me. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found. I don't have enough to get him. You adamantly so, to me, there's no point in wishing. Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear. They have like a different philosophy on wishing. Sometimes <laughs> you have to let parts of yourself go, or you'll never be happy. Hmm. I mean, there will always be another time. I gave everything I had, but it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone, that's true. Oh, thanks for the pet. It will be up shortly. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. 
Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time, a chain of cause and effect, a cycle of karma and consequence. That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. It seems like I'm glad you guys are liking the new redemption. The individual. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. We're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything. I like how but... seamless it is. Yeah, we were mm -hmm. the biggest fans. If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, as the God of Wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're willing. Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet, with no heart and no name. There is nothing in this world for me to cling to, to fill the void within me, except maybe these sins that can never be undone. Very well. As you wish. <clears throat> Wait, shouldn't we go with him? This one's kind of on us for bringing him here. Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face, it's my burden to bear. Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Oh, good point. Given your, um... Unique situation. Understood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, prepare yourselves, everyone. Oh, I have to go in like this. I think That'll this is where they give you the wanderer to like <sighs> test out. This looks like Inazuma. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memory. These memories will show you the raw truth. But be aware that enemies may react just like in the real world. Please be careful. Sounds like an immersive experience. Imagine real life was like you that. You don't need to do this for me. We never give up halfway. All right. Thanks. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Baladir incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You had a great many memories here. Is that because this is kind of like his birthplace? You... I could say that in a second. I hear footsteps. This place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it. The Crystal Marrow Miners? No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work, and so well preserved, too. No mining crew would be capable of this. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> who are you? Y you're awake. What happened? How'd you get stuck here? Are you injured? Uh-huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? This man is Katsuragi, deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Bikoshi Nagamasa. He found the Baladir in Shake Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. And the rest is history. Well, it used <laughs> to be. In the original version of events, Katsuragi was ultimately killed by Nagamasa. Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. H hang in there. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor disguised as a mechanic. The Baladir, then known as the Kabukimono, disappeared not long after. As the second in command at Tatarasuna, responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, 
Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarasuna incident. Hmm. Well. <sighs> Hatsuraki seems like he was a good guy. People dying. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? <laughs> Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fine with me. Katsuragi, report Kabuki to me. Mono. Tell him we have someone new joining us. <clears throat> Bully. Electrify me. Whoa. Huh? What are we doing back here? Whoa. This is where you were born? It's pretty. But there's nobody here. <laughs> I was abandoned. Like you. I lived here for a while at first, but... There's nothing for us here. We can't stay. Okay. I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. Mm. <laughs> he kept coughing all the time, just like me. Then mom started coughing too. But you can't. You promised me. Yep. Well, we're family now. We're gonna be together forever and ever. This child mm. didn't have any... Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, the balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. They made a promise to live together. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was still very young. The balladeer came home one day and found mm. that he had stopped breathing. Hey! Well, what's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Miwa and all the others. You betrayed me too. The voices have gone. It looks like the memory ends here. Let's keep going. Mm. Just looking at things wrong. Whoa. Time to fight. Or oh, maybe not yet. I don't know. <laughs> you do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. Or you could continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? The long fated rebellion has begun. Hello, Tradition. How are you? The banquet Welcome. and join those who shall be. How are you doing Nima. today? Well met. More. Right now, right here. In my joy. Hold the line. Right here, right now. I see you from you. See? You can't run. Excuse me. Looks like I went too far. My work. <laughs> I didn't get anything from beating me. Oh, cheat. Um, I'm doing okay. <clears throat> I'm just getting over. I'm having COVID, so. I'm doing as okay as this I can. This place is dark. Oh, we met that guy here. Uh, Haima knows this place. It's the Delusion Factory in Inazuma. In the original version of events, the Traveler once encountered the Balladeer here. Such a creepy atmosphere. And... Hey, look at 
work over there. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? Wow. You shouldn't have. Huh. What do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Hello, Perhaps senora. you find fighting in the abyss mm -hmm. to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the doctor. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. Hm. Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think mm -hmm. so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible. And don't let your emotions get in the way. They did. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and child never fail to find ways to complicate things. <laughs> I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above every- By then, see you at the victory feast. Hmm. Poor little tongue? <laughs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. I should prepare. <sighs> the plot does not end here. There is more of this story to come. Yes. Please. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. I was like, Isn't that right? Is she talking Which? to you like the maid? <laughs> I'm no confused. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count well, I that I thought you play as, as Wander, but I guess not. You're about as much mm. fun to be around as a raging inferno. Normally it lets you but play as them in other, the, like, story class with them. Mm. Our duties. One thing after another. Whoa. Right here. Emerge. Right now. Right here. Right now. Sumeru. Uh, is that? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Mm. Welcome. I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As There's such, the grand I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Why couldn't they make him bomb? Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the abyss. I want to see his face. We barely saw each other. It's probably ugly. It, it looks exactly like the Grand the Sages or something. That was gracefully worded. 
Ever wonder what they think if they knew that nothing matters to you? It gives me like from your crazy experiments. I have two vibes. I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? <sighs> that person gives off a very sinister energy. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeebers out of Paimon. <laughs> Let's move on. Hmm. <laughs> You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. In your eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. Hmm. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine. Hey, Kaya, remember to stay hydrated. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. No matter the consequences, <clears throat> I won't problem. run <clears throat> from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Huh? But won't that mean you'll lose your current identity? I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences. As a puppet living in a human world... My life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. And no one will remember him. Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that... Reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. Mm. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Mm. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. You have made your decision. Now, take this. Him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is my... Again. I've been using the bow blade. <laughs> All I need is my dull blade. Are you done yet? <laughs> oh, we 
worthless dross will be purged. That's why. What is this? This won't be the end. Well. Yeah, let's Die. <laughs> <laughs> this is trying oh. patience. Just me? Have you got all your you got this. Have you, got any more questions? you might need food. <laughs> well, before you missed off. Swan Fury. <laughs> The wind rises. At my command, you shall fall. <laughs> I want to try. Insignificant past. You can do it. You got this. Squall Fury. Do you have food? No. Like if you open your bag, you can eat the food. Okay. 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 Wait, did it heal on its own? Uh. <laughs> yeah, it did. I guess this is scripted. I I used my food. <laughs> Insignificant past. You dare to gaze upon me? You dare to gaze upon me? Follow me. <laughs> That's far enough. Feeble ah! human. Have you done this fight? No. Well, I mean, like, not with the ballad here, but with, like, your normal character. I mean, just, like, in the, the story quest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quit following me. Aaron, what did you say? <laughs> Aaron doesn't want to cheer me on. Because he hates me. Oh, you never die. <laughs> yeah. Everlasting Lord of Arcane Wisdom. Imbecile! Get out of my sight! It disappeared! Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. <laughs> There's that tone of voice again! You're definitely back to your old self! Wait! But it was you inside that thing too! What have you got to be smug about? Sorry. I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me, but don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Come on, let's continue this outside. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're late. I never understand people that will like stay in a place past its closing time or even go in like close to closing time. <laughs> it feels like 
we just went on a really long journey. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking, I should probably change it. After learning about everything the doctor did, there's no way I can carry on using a name connected like to going me. in to like sit I'm down and eat. I'm returning to the Fatui. And they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people. And they might not even remember who the sixth is. So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? <sighs> it's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people, these are not simple things to accomplish. What you are looking for is complete annihilation. Mm. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all mm. that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing in the world worth regretting. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes. And I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? <laughs> In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Sumeru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a part of my plan. But before that, I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Very clever. <laughs> I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. So if embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again, so be it. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. You're into justice and all that. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm mm. glad you're able to think of it in that way. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Soul more deeply and see what secrets can be uncovered, including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Soul. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. I will try. He just the only one who's like truly helped us about our brother. Traveler. Mm -hmm. After I dove into the information torrents in Ermansoul, why did you go to Inazuma? So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. And how. Literally, right? Well, <laughs> whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. Don't you worry. That's mm. not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back. And they can never be changed. Which is why there is emotion in the human world. Everything that you feel is real and lasting. And whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. To be human is to live with imperfections. You can choose whether or not you want to be human. Mm. Hmm. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human a long time ago. You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become, until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. What do you mean? It is true. It sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. Paimon doesn't even know where to start, but 
the most important thing now is that you need to follow Nahida. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. I miss what he said. <laughs> Did he say, like, no thank you or something? He said he gave up on being human. Then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. <laughs> I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Paima wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! Why? Because... You that much. <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each other in the future. A name is life's first gift. Wait, do I have to rename that, him? But I know this is my favorite name. part. Oh no. <laughs> the Travel and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them for ideas. No, Paimon only does nicknames. I wonder what names you'll come up with. Oh my god, I thought you only name him if you pull him. <laughs> I don't know. Name him Balladeer. <laughs> Is that what you named him? <laughs> no, you can't. You can't oh my god. Him, like... Do you, you just keep it as Wanderer? No. What did you name him? I named him Stinky. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That <laughs> <laughs> was funny. Why don't you name it Balladeer? And then I renamed something, him. Maybe something Japanese. You know what? I went on YouTube and mm -hmm. people were talking about like what they were renaming. Meaningful. And they were like all putting meaningful names. I'm <laughs> Did you feel bad? <laughs> no, I didn't feel bad. I spent like an hour and a half on his quest. He wasted names. my time. Names. Male. <laughs> Just name him Stinky. No, I'm not naming him Stinky. Apprentice, what did you name him? <laughs> If you roll for him, does he keep that name? Yeah, you. He oh, really? Thinking, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it makes me kind of want to roll for him. Oh my god. You can change the name, but I think it's very limited on how many times you can change it. There's a limit on the number of times you can rename this character. Where is it saying that? Oh. In yellow. Two chances. Oh my god. You can go with Wanderer. If you're used to that name already. You haven't gone this far, Apprentice. Oh, there's people that call him Fondago. What do I? Because, you know, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, so you do the Fondago. Oh my god. If I have to name him something, I can't, I can't be, like, given this kind of. Halty? That's a good name. Oh, yeah. Hatley. Halty? Hatley. Why? Hatley? Why? Because of his hat. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you That's know what Adam name. named him? Him? Stinky. <laughs> It's funny. I 
I don't I want some it. weird made up name though. It has to be like authentic. Azaria sounds cool. <laughs> What of this one I saw? It's Hirotel. It means fly far. Because you know he flies up in the sky. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. Oh, wanderer name. Name him Goku. No! <laughs> Hey ghosts! Hey ghosts, how are you doing today? What's up, ghost? Hmm. You should name him Chico, because he's small. Oh my god. I wonder if there's a YouTube video Names for the Wanderer Genshin Are you yeah. closing, Ghost? Ghost <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it the redemption arc? Oh my god. Robert. Oh my god, you know, um, Apprentice, there's like a thumbnail. It says like, it, on the, on the screen it says like, simp name, baby boy, and then like, weeb name, Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put an emo and like capitalized emo. <laughs> oh, it says here that you can name him Scaramouche, but you have to bypass something. Motherless, oh my god. Wow. You can't name him Wanderer? I think you can. Maybe. Ugh. This one, Shota. A sudden sound of wind. But do people like actually get named these things, you know? Mm-hmm. Fujin. What? That's the uh, name Apprentice suggested. I saw it online, too. El Mariachi. <laughs> I don't know names, you know what I mean? And I have to pee. You said go to the bathroom if you need to go. Yeah, guys, I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. is taking a break to think about what to name. It's a big decision for some people. I would have named him Naruto if I didn't name him Stinky. How y'all doing?
Have you thought of a name for Wanderer Apprentice when you got here? Oh, hey, Jeezy. No worries. I hope, um, work is wrapping up. I joked of calling him son. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like Kay is coming back, though. Hopefully she, she thought of a name. Son is a legit Asian name. I didn't know that. I just thought of the mom and son connection between the characters. Oh, you want to name him son. What does I mean? <laughs> name him Oregon. Oregon. Let's see. I means flourishing. Prosperous. Nutcracker? Oh my god, stop. Matisse. Not bad. I saw that, Lauren. But I'm not sure. If you want, you have like another name change. Yeah, but then that's it. Oh, <laughs> I'm Victor, can you imagine? <laughs> as, as Zippy? Oh my god, hip. Let me explain to you this guy's life story, okay? He was made. By the Raiden Shogun. <laughs> Why is that open? <laughs> he was named by the Raiden Shogun. Okay. Um, <laughs> or he was created as a puppet by the Raiden Shogun. He was cast aside. Throughout his whole life, he's trying to find a place of belonging. But something has always gone wrong. Pinocchio. That seems kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> Marionette. Give him a normal name. <laughs> I want like a meaningful name. I don't want a Roman name. He's meant to be Japanese. Kazuma. Hmm. Aruma. That's a good name. Mm. 
the Japanese name for Mike. Oh my god. This one, Arata, it means fresh or new. You know, he's starting a new life. Mm -hmm. What about That's that? Good. That's fitting. This one, Asuka, it means either tomorrow or fly and fragrant or bird, which all oh. are good things because he's starting a new tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, a new day. You know, and he has the the animal vision, so fly like a bird, right? That's a good name. What are, you, what are you thinking? Are you mm. leaning towards one way? Sora. That's a good name. Yeah, but isn't that from that one game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the name or what the number four is in Japanese since he was the fourth um, thingy. Well, have a good night, Apprentice. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, Apprentice. Thank you for hanging out. It's a combination of light. Wait. Har Haruto, did someone say that? I feel like it means mm -hmm. light, sun, male, plus sword, fly. I don't think anyone said that. That's a good name, though. Mm -hmm. There's the name Hikaru on here, like the person from Kepler. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, um, tomorrow will be my neck, my first day back since I've had COVID. To the end of the beginning for four. Is that how Japanese names work, though? <laughs> uh, you can't name him Paimon. <laughs> name him Paimon? That's funny. I'm on Junior. I feel like whatever I pick, like, I'll, like, regret. How about you close the game and then open it when you think of a name? <clears throat> Let me see if I can find anything fun. Goodbye, Genshin. Someone named him Scaramiel. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's um, some creativity there.
Name him Scara Nara. <laughs> That's something Welcome. I would name him. Welcome, Glitched Gecko. Hello, Glitched Gecko. How are you? Name him Neo for new. Hmm. Just tired. You could get some rest, you know. Right now, Kay is still trying to name this character. I don't know if you play Genshin or not. You're giving me too much power. I just play games. I don't name them. Well, this person named theirs Kayo. It means forgiveness. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, you can name them after yourself. And then he's like, oh, do you want to share a name with me? And then you both have the name. about Hajime, the Japanese word for beginning. I'm reading some funny names. <laughs> People said that they named him um, Pinocchio. <laughs> Drifter. That's an interesting name. Very similar to Wanderer. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, DZ. Oh, DZ, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kim and Jay. Oh, wow. two good people. Mm hmm. Good RNG, yeah, true. Literally, right? Oh, you can call him Aether. 
<laughs> no, that's okay. Oh, you used to name him Niwa after that one character. That nah. was the friend. I need something that, like, I don't mind saying. You know what I mean? Okay. Name him Meteo. <laughs> oh my god. Name him um, Kiruto. Mm. That's a good name. No, not Itachi. How about Aaron Yeager? They're not too. Kiliwa, that's a good name. about this name Rin that's a that's a good name <clears throat> very simple to, to say too it means cold or severe Ooh. it can also have a positive meaning dignified that's good what do you think This one, Yuki. That's it, cute. It means gentle hope. I like Ren. I feel like I might just keep it as my wanderer. Oh my god. Are you sure? <laughs> you know, we spent like 30 minutes on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you got anything? I'll do Rin. He kind of looks like a Rin. You know? Yeah. What do we think about Ren? I like Ren. Ren's great. He looks like a Ren. You just are calling what I just said. <laughs> Medio, what do you think about Ren? What do you think, Medio? This is all riding on your decision. It says here that 
It's not. I mean, it's the name of a boy, Vocaloid. Or maybe it's a girl. I can't remember. That's good, Jeezy. It's good to have fun. No, that's Len. Oh. <laughs> oh, his sister is the... is Ren. Oops. Oh, wait. It is a girl's name. Ugh. Name him Len. No. I looked up boys' names. Hmm. What was the name of that little boy that was sacrificed in Inazuma? Ryu? Ryu? R-Y-U? Ryu? It says here that Rin could be a male name, it just depends on the kanji. Can it be both? They could be both menial. Okay, you made me unsure of my decision. I mean, really, does he have a gender if he's a puppet? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a heart. Exactly. What makes you think he has genitals? I mean, you're not wrong, so... Alright, I'll go with that. Are you sure? Going with Rin. I thought it said... Why does it say Wanderer? Well, you gotta say that you're sure first. Oh, alright. If you say so. I believe so. There. Now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? Are you done yet? Uh, I... Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've thought of one. <laughs> Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. You mean the Fatui? The doctor, at least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. Hmm. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. Well, this half hour. Oh, it's okay. Isuma. Please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, I knew Kay was gonna take a while to, to name. I wasn't prepared. I see. That is up to you. Huh? But if we do that, then. It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. <laughs> All right, let goodbye, wise deity. And you. He's gone. What he went through today would have been like living an entire. That's like a big decision, cheesy. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, true. But even so, yeah, I can, ever do I can only so change it once more. Paimon is starving. Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. I think you're nearing the end of the, the class. Thank God. I've got it! 
I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. You mean because everyone else in the story is dead? Yeah, I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the perfect fit to be the narrator of the epic. The dark clouds had dissipated, it, but they continued but to I cast their shadow it. in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. It should have. Oh, wait, it says. Sorry. I'll redeem it. Or Adam can. <laughs> then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. <clears throat> Life is a story too long to be told, a journey that you must walk to behold. <laughs> to 35k well There's a lot of things you could do with that amount of money and that amount of points. I guess there's <clears throat> something Pokemon related. Like name the Pokemon. You sound lost and confused. Who's that? I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> Who can say? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The I thought it was me being a fate. Mika. Like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a it broken vase. Like her. It History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. Whoa. The voice has disappeared. And who the heck was that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Uh, anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? We could clean it up ourselves. Feels wrong just leaving it there. Just a moment, Paimon will be right back. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, yay. He's finished, yay. Hooray. Right. 
no quests. You got the trading card game. <laughs> I tried playing it, it wasn't fun. Have you done? <laughs> it wasn't too bad, just two yeah. like really long story quests. The events have quests, but I think you missed out on the events, the previous ones. Uh, what is this? So sucrose, the package you made. You need the trading card game. If your package No. Tomatoes, sucrose! This is not what I want. Oh hey you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package. Yes. I believe it's from a huh? A package from an academia. There wasn't anything. I I'm think just skipping because uh, uh, I didn't want to run into they... this. Oh, you no. <laughs> it's called Genius. Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation. Apparently, it's a game that was invented by a scholar. In That's right. The game's been, it starts. It, it turns out that the, after being un. Uh. Huh? No. <clears throat> well, well, since it's a gift. All right. And it's, okay, fine. Fine. Although. <laughs> well, research. But if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually okay. suggest you go to the cat. Yep, that trying to learn. Understood. You have to go to Trevor, the cat's tail to on, do like to the tutorial well, stuff. I'm not doing that. It takes a long time. I just wanted to collect my things. Add Astra. Thank you for completing. Yay. I wonder how many penguins I have now. Oh, almost 10,000. <sighs> oh well. You don't want to at least try? That's enough for like 40 wishes now. I suppose, but... I don't know. It's okay. Alrighty, guys. I think this is a good place for us to stop for today. Thank you guys, um... <clears throat> Thank you all so much for... For hanging out today i really appreciate it but i'm gonna go to bed now i have a day tomorrow sadly mm -hmm. um yeah great job um it was fun i'm glad you had fun i i had fun catching up in genshin <laughs> yeah, um all yeah nice. i'm all caught up now all right guys well um i think that is the end of the day for today. Um, and yeah, I think we will just end. Okay. Yes, I do have a big day ahead of me. Um, sadly. <laughs> uh, I hope I won't like die. Not literally, but you guys know what I mean. Yeah. Um. All right, have a good um, rest of your night, guys, and a good day tomorrow, and I will see you all on Thursday.
Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.